we actually created a calculator using HTML and JavaScript. So while it works perfectly, the code is not very clean. Because you see in JavaScript part, there are a lot of setting values manually, create clearing values, etc. So what I will do today, I will rewrite this app using Vue.js and you will see from the result how clean the code is. Even the HTML structure will also be clean. Now I already have done a video on introduction to Vue.js. So if you have not watched that, be sure to watch it before so that you can understand the concepts. So I will keep the CSS code as it is. I will also keep most of the HTML structure. I will change a little bit when we get to change that. So first we will start by adding Vue.js to our code. And as I did in my previous video, we will just paste the script tag. This is the script tag for our Vue.js CDN. And as before you can see the result here, it is live. So every time I change something in the code, this will automatically refresh so that you can see it in real time. Now let us start by making a Vue.js app. So uh, the app will be mounted on this div, so which has a class of calculator. So let us start. I will get rid of everything in this code. I will copy paste some of these parts, but for now let me just clean this. So let us start by defining a Vue.js variable. So I will create a variable called view. Now I will be mounting it in a div with a class calculator. So in my case the EL element will be dot calculator. which is this div. Now let us create some data. So this time I'll make data function which will return our data objects. So the first data that I need will be of course current input. I'll make it an empty string. So basically whatever the user types will be stored in the current input data. I'll also create another data called answer. This will hold the result of the output. Then I'll create another boolean data called show answer. So this will tell view which one to show. So if show answer is true, it will show the answer which will be the result when we compute it. And if show answer is false, it will show the current input. So whatever the user is typing right now. Also we'll need an operation, which will also be an empty string. So these are basically all the data we need for the calculator part. But I want to clean up the HTML because you see there are a lot of repetition. I mean for every button only this value and this text is changing. So rest are all same. So there is some repetition. Let us see how we can fix it. So for that we will use the v4 directive in view. Again if you have not watched my previous video on Vue.js, please watch it where I have showed v4. So I'll just copy this button, I'll paste it on top and now this structure will be repeated. I'll just put a v4 there. So I'll write n in keys. Now this keys must be an array on which this for loop will loop and for each value in the array it will print out one key. So my key, the order of my keys are 7, 8, 9, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3 and 0. So I'll create a array called keys with that order. So let me create a data. So keys with that order. Now you see we have 10 keys. Of course all of them will 
print just 7 so let's fix that so they will actually print n which is basically the value of them so as you can see here and finally we have to change this value also so this value will also be n let us do that now if I come back here you'll notice that the values have not changed I mean the value of n here is not substituted so it's because by default Vue.js does not monitor every property or every attribute so if I want to tell view that you should substitute the value variable values in the value attribute we have to put a colon now as soon as I put a colon here Vue.js will substitute the value of n so now if I go back and watch so as you can see the values have been substituted then I can get rid of all of this the similar technique I will use for these buttons so I'll create an array called operations operators which will hold all the operators and I will do the similar thing here the for loop will iterate over the operators array and for each operator it will print out the operator itself and also set the value now one caveat of this is that we this will show asterisk and slash previously we had those times character and divides character but that's not a big deal so we have retained our HTML structure but it's way cleaner than previous so we basically just have four or five elements and Vue.js is taking care of the rest now let's now let's observe the screen so I want to change what the screen shows now instead of manually setting ev the screen every time I can I can leverage the power of Vue.js so what I want to do I will create a computed property so computed properties are basically like pseudo properties so they are not actual properties or actual data but instead they depend on one or more data so what I want to do I want to create a computed property that depends on both of these or actually this variable so if show answer is false it means I will show current input and if show answer is true I will show the answer variable so I will create a property called display on screen this should be a function this function should return the value which should be set so if show answer is true we just return answer if show answer is false we return current input but if current input is also empty which is basically the case when the calculator is loading for the first time we actually show zero instead of showing a blank screen otherwise we return current input so now let's connect this screen to the display on screen property so this is basically you can use it like any normal data so even though this is a function you can actually use it like a normal variable a normal data variable so I will just first make the value of view property by use setting a colon and then I will set the value to this display on screen property so as you can see it shows zero because currently show answer is false so it will return current input but since current input is also empty it shows a zero now let's do the main part which is handling the even clicks so for each number class I will add a click listener so add click and then name of the function so I'll call it handle number as before and for each operator the same thing except I will change the very function name which will be handle operation now let us write those functions so uh, we'll create a methods property and inside that we'll write those functions so these will be similar to the normal HTML case 
with some minor differences. So the first function is a handle number function. So this will be run when the user clicks on a number. So as you can see, it takes an argument. This argument is basically just a normal HTML event. And I can use its target attribute to get the actual number button that was clicked. So event.target.value will give me the value of whatever number was clicked. So as before, I am just appending it to the current input data. Before that, if the show answer is true, I am setting show answer to false. So for example, if the user does 7 plus 5, it shows 12. So 12 will be stored in the answer variable here. And we will also set show answer to true so that it will be displayed. Then when the user clicks on a number, I have to hide the answer which was displayed on the screen. So hiding the answer is simple. We will just set show answer to false. Now, if you remember, this computed property dependent on show answer variable. So as soon as I set it to false, this will automatically calculate the new value and will display, which will be basically just whatever the current input holds. And now let us write the handle operation function. So the handle operation function is almost similar as before. So first we are just setting the current operator inside the operation variable. So basically same event.target.value. Then finally I am moving the current input to the operand1 variable, which I have forgotten to include. Let us write that. So as before, this will store the first number. So after setting the operand1, we are just resetting the current input variable. So that it will show zero. As you can see here, I can type anything I want. When I click on an operator, it shows zero. The next function is the calculate function. This is exactly same as before. I have made no changes. Just as before, if it is plus, we return their sum. If it is minus, we return their difference and so on. Next up, we write the handle equals function. So we first calculate the answer using the operand one, the operation, and whatever the user has written until now. This is almost same as before. And we store it in the answer data. Finally, we clear the operation and we clear the current input. And at this point, we set show answer to true which means as soon as show answer becomes true, this computed property will return the answer variable so that my screen will show actually the answer. Now let us add this event listener to the equal sign button. So here, so when it is clicked, I will add to handle equals so this should actually be this dot calculate because this calculate function is defined inside the methods array. Now you can see here if I do 89 minus 9, it shows the result. And when I click on a new number, it shows a new number instead. Now let us write, so the calculate is almost complete. Now let us write the remaining two things, which is the decimal and clear. So basically decimal also does nothing but append its own value to the current input. So I can actually use this handle number here also. Oops. And it will work just the same. Nothing difficult there. And finally for the clear, let us write another function or another method. So the clear is also similar to before. So we are just clearing everything. And we are also setting show answer to false. Now let us connect it here. So for this clear function, so for this clear button, and we are done. So everything works and the clear button also works.
So now as you can see here, the HTML code is much cleaner. The HTML code is almost 80% in size. The JavaScript code is also cleaner. So we do not have to set the display manually. And overall the code is maintainable. Now this was just a basic example, but you get the idea how you can use Vue.js in your app. If you like that video, smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and subscribe. Also don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you do not miss any future videos. Thank you.